Hello, once again, my name is Ben Cogswell from Alien Animations. And uh, as you might have been able to tell, uh, my screen recorder cut out on me because it only allows 15 minute uh, long recordings. So I guess that's good, limits how long things should be. But um, anyways, I haven't touched it at all, but let's just continue moving along. Because uh, I know we're almost getting close to done on this uh, whatever the heck you would call this, but we are going to keep moving along. I'm just going to move some around because the way I had things positioned wasn't making too much sense. Anyways, so now let's extrude out, stretch that a whole crap load so it looks really bad. And then we're also going to grab that vertice, not point. We should have both of these selected. Now let's edge slide, and I want to control E, edge slide those up, or actually, let's just let's just add in a loop cut. That's because we need to add one in there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's just move that accordingly. Add another loop cut. Slide it up. It's looking nice. Okay, let's add another loop cut there because we're going to edit this part just a bit. We're going to move that out. And we're also going to get that. And uh, we should also probably add another loop cut there. I'm going to grab these faces. extrude and then scale in and then press control 7 to go into bottom view and move that in scale along X just want to make this around 45 degrees it doesn't have to be exact and then what I want to do is I want to extrude this up so that it's like you know what actually Probably, but I scale that down to right about there. That's where things would usually be, and then, then we can move that out like that. But we want to keep those ones over there. Little bit of editing needing to be done there, but that was all right. Okay, let's uh, extrude that after we have the rest of this done, because it might get a little bit confusing. Because we're gonna get a whole bunch of faces in there. Let's just grab these top faces, um, and I did not get all the ones that I wanted. Whatever. So now we have them all extrude up. And yes, I do have all the ones that I want. Let's grab those, move them in like so. Grab that one, move it over there, and just move that over there. Okay, now we have what we want. Let's extrude it up once more. Probably scale it along the Z a bit more, flatten it out. And then we are going to select these uh, vertexes or vertices. That would be the proper grammatical term. And let's just rotate these and extrude them like that. And Okay, this part here must be bigger because it 
goes out a bit there actually so we're gonna need to make this larger and right here we're gonna have to make that go out a bit too but that should be good okay now we can just move that over there not over there And I want to get rid of all these faces up there. X, delete faces. Okay. Now, I'm going to introduce you to something cool. I think you will find it interesting. And actually... Hmm, okay. First, let's just... No, actually, I'm not going to introduce you to that right now. But uh, I will probably introduce it to you some, some other time because it's, it's pretty cool. Okay, let's just smooth that because we're getting some pinching right there. And that was W and smooth. And I just pressed it a whole bunch of times. Made it look nice. And uh, that should be nice. Okay. Uh, grab these vertices, extrude upwards, snap to that vertice, Let's extrude upwards again, snap to that vertice, and I think you're starting to catch on to what's going on here. Um, I guess if we really want to do all this detail, we could, but I don't really want to. So let's scale along Z, scale along Z down to zero, and then snap it to that vertice just to make it nice and clean. Keep it clean, and then extrude, grab, extrude, grab, oops, extrude, grab, extrude, grab, extrude, grab. Extrude, grab, and I'm also holding down control. Probably sounded like an idiot there for not saying that, but extrude, grab by pressing G, and then control to snap to vertex. Yes. And what is my computer doing? Hello. Uh, it's not responding. Oh. Oh, my mouse died. Ah. Well, this is crappy. Sorry about that. Okay. And now things are all messed up. Anyways, I apologize for that. I just had to charge it up a bit and it was good to go then. But now it is all good. And let's just, what the heck, just add a little uh, loop cut there just to sharpen it up. And then we will deselect those guys extrude in snap snap to there and snap to there and then we should be almost done I thought we we're gonna be done there for a second but we're not well just done this part I would just stop it right there obviously okay That's a little trick you can do there. Wasn't too fancy. Okay. Grab, extrude one more time. Grab that in there. And there we go. 
we should be done for that except there's that little knob there but we can do that another day we don't really need that and we can uh, we don't really need to do anything else so well you know what I think and maybe we should do this another time because I think we're probably running out of time here and I apologize for my mouse running out of battery but I will charge it up immediately and see you guys in another time and have a fantastic day guys while my mouse goes out of power again but